It has taken just a few weeks for Omicron to become the dominant strain in the U.S. and parts of Europe. Their cases have been rising sharply, and the global caseload has jumped 34 percent in the past month. Yi gyeong reports. In just over a month since it was first detected in South Africa, the new Omicron variant has now been found in more than 100 countries. And cases are surging sharply worldwide despite restrictions and vaccinations. The total global infections in the past week add up to nearly 5.3 million. That makes an average of some 750,800 infections each day, which is up 16 percent compared to the previous week and up 34 percent compared to the week right before the Omicron variant was first detected on November 24th. The spike in cases comes as Omicron has already become dominant strain in many countries. In the hardest hit U.S., it accounts for some three quarters of all new cases. According to Reuters, in parts of the East Coast, it accounts for 90 percent. And the country, for the first time in a year, is averaging a daily caseload of 200,000, exceeding this summer's peak, which was driven by the Delta variant. Top U.S. infectious diseases expert Anthony Fauci says the mild clinical symptoms of infection masked Omicron's severity to some extent, making it easier for the variant to spread. Meanwhile, the U.K., Italy and France also set fresh records in the past few days. And concerns rise in Asia as Omicron spreads in the region, including South Korea, Singapore and Pakistan. India, which was hit by its worst COVID-19 crisis in the summer, will start boosting frontline medical workers as more than 500 Omicron cases have been reported. The precautionary doses of vaccines for healthcare and frontline workers will begin from Monday, January 10, 2022. Experts say although Omicron is less severe in terms of hospitalizations, an extremely high volume of new infections could still put the medical system under strain. Young-un, Arirang News.